G'day guys, and welcome to another edition of More Dirt, Less Bitumen. Today we've got another walkthrough, Patriot X3 Camper. Come, let's have a look. The kitchen will look pretty familiar, except on the X3, it's a lot larger. There's a lot more bench space. A few things have moved around. The little pantry drawer, it's gone up high now, so it's not going to knock anything when you're prepping your food. You've got the uh, two burner gas stove over here. Up the end, we've got our full control panel. Red vision system, we can power our lights on and off. You've got your gauges here for your airbag suspension so you can level up at camp. Plus you've also got 12 volt and USB outlets. Up the top here, for those chilly nights, you've got your Wavasto heater there, which will keep you all nice and toasty inside. Over here we've got the Waco CFX fridge. Not 100% sure on the size of it. I think it's around about the 75 litre, but I do know it is the biggest fridge that's ever been fitted into a Patriot camper before. So it's got your combined fridge and freezer. Sliding out from underneath the fridge is your cutlery and utensil drawer. And then obviously you've got your hot and cold plumbed water. Up the front, we've got the Weber Q. On a convenient little slide out that comes out of the front toolbox there. Gas bottle on the front corner so it's easy to connect to. Up on the top, you've got a utility shelf for all your hoses. And down the bottom here, you've got your Wabasto heater. On the draw bar, we've got the DO35 hitch. Maximum articulation off-road, handbrake and jockey wheel. On the other side of the toolbox, you've got your fill-in neck here for the Wabasto diesel heater, plus another spot there for a four and a half kilo gas bottle. Underneath, storage of plenty. Big door there, opens up to a slide. That could be used for a generator or a port loo or something along those lines. Plus we've also got your uh, electrical circuit breakers up the back there. And we've got a LED light inside. Australian made too, good to see. While we're kneeled down under here, we'll talk about the suspension and tire setup that we've got on the X3. Patriot run their own suspension built for them by Cruise Master, and this one's actually running the airbags underneath it, which makes it very, very easy to level up at camp, plus gives you the ultimate ride quality on those rough tracks. 33 inch tires, mud terrains on black PCOR alloy rims. We've got more storage at the back here. These are all your, uh, if we were setting up the full, full awning and full sides, that's all gone in there. Plus we've got the adjustable leg down the bottom here. Now, new from Patriot on the X3 is their flip over bed. Conveniently, it's got access from both inside and outside via the fold down ladder here. But more about that later. Let's keep going around, let's head inside. Up inside the Patriot X3, the first time they've ever had a living area inside. So you've got a little lounge here that also converts into a single bed on this model. Popping that up, bringing out one of the supports, you can quite easily put a young child down on that one. If the weather's bad outside, use the lounge, fold out the little table. Folds down easily. For those that don't mind a coffee, this X3 is fitted with a pop-up Nespresso coffee machine. Good thing is too, of a morning, if you want your coffee, you can access the fridge from inside as well. So for the smart ones, milk in here, into your coffee, and away you go. There's a pop-up 240 and USB charging point there as well. Big windows all around provide maximum ventilation, plus they're all midgy proof screened. In the flip over section, you've got your bed, and conveniently, it comes with this cover on it, which, which zips up. So all your bedding stays in place when you're closing it up. When setting the tent up, you've got three internal poles that have a quick release fitting on there and easily adjusted. Lighting, you've got four LED lighting strips throughout and they are adjustable by a remote control. Good thing about the X3 as well is the accessibility to internal storage. So in behind the lounge, you've got a couple of small drawers perfect for your clothes and then underneath the lounge seats as well the big rear storage drawer you can access from inside so that's inside all we've got left to talk about is the big new awning from Patriot featuring their new hexacore material the awning is a full 180 degree off the front of the camper and a 270 degree awning at the rear 
giving you an absolute massive amount of undercover area and undercover space. One really cool thing I absolutely love is this little pocket up the top there for your guy ropes. The great thing too is all the legs, just on a cam lock, but there's a little magnet inside of them as well. So it's all fully self-contained. All you've got to do is grab your pegs out there if it's, if it's overly windy to peg it all down. So that's it guys. What do you reckon? Thumbs up for the new Patriot X3 camper? I think so. My only problem is, we're not staying here tonight. We've got to go take the bloody thing back. Well, I guess it's time to pack up. <laughs>